Hey, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you may install a custom module for Active Collab 3. In this example, we're going to use Widgets Plus module from Apps Magnet. So once you have purchased the module, you will get a file like this, widgetsplus.zip. Unzip that file and you will see a folder structure like this. Uh, this is the folder structure that we at Apps Magnet follow for all our modules where you know we have these informative files here like readme etc and then you have a folder called for upload now this is the folder that contains all the files that need to be uploaded to the server so let's go ahead and go into our ftp application and see how we can upload these files okay so this is my ftp client i'm logged into my server and i see these active collab folders on the right hand side this is my active collab root and uh, this is the folder where we have just downloaded and unzipped the module file. So this is the for upload folder which needs to be uploaded to the server. Now make sure that you do not upload the for upload folder itself. The contents of the for upload folder need to be uploaded. And you can quickly verify that by looking at this folder name which is custom and matching it on this side on the right hand side custom. So essentially what's going to happen is all the contents of this folder are going to be pushed within this folder you know automatically so i'm just going to say okay upload these you may see uh, a notification asking for your permission to override existing files if you are uploading a new version of a module etc this is my active collab installation let me go back into the administration and modules now once the module is going to be uploaded to the server you'll start seeing it in the list here excellent so we have the module here and it is available for install so what you got to do is you got to click install. Now at this point of time, Active Collab will do internal checks and you know keep your module ready. It'll set up all the configuration. Everything will be ready. Now the way you check and verify that the module is installed is primarily from your administration screen. Most of the modules will come with some settings up and options, and those settings and options will be available from Active Collab administration. So now that we see here. You know, widgets plus messages is showing up here, which means the module is installed correctly. You may also need to clear the cache. So you click on the admin tools here. This is available if your active collab is running in development mode. And you can empty the cache and delete compiled templates. I would recommend doing that whenever you install a new module or uninstall a module. So once that's done, we can actually go ahead and start using the module. But there could be one thing that you may still need to configure, uh, which is the roles and permissions. So some modules may require you to specifically give access to that particular module or functionality that it's providing from the roles. So make sure that you know your roles are configured such that uh, access to that module is available to the roles, you know, the users that you want. Excellent. So that's how you would install a custom module into Active Collab and I hope it's been useful to you.